Crikey! You guys won't believe this. South Park Fractured Butthole is coming out in Australia. Yes. First of all, it's coming out in Australia. That alone is crazy news. Because if you have ever seen any news articles about how Australia seems to treat games, they love to censor the hell out of them if they even come out at all. Uh, apparently, it's going to come to Australia. And that's not the biggest surprise of this news story, people. It is also going to be uncensored. It is going to be the exact same content that we're going to have here in the States, that they're going to have in Europe, in Canada, and everywhere else they are releasing this game. This is a huge victory for Australian gamers that constantly have to deal with games that are censored to all hell if they even get them. There's a lot of games out there that have been banned in Australia. I just want to read down a list of games that are banned in Australia, just to kind of give you guys a little insight into this story here. 50 Cent Bulletproof. Not a big surprise, it's 50 Cent. 50's gotta be vulgar, right? Blitz the League. This one's kind of strange because it's a football game, but it's banned because of drug use. BMX Triple X. The Bug Butcher. Crimecraft, which with a name like that, probably not a big surprise. Dark Sector. Dreamweb. Enze. Falsely acuted. Acuted. Accused. This one's kind of strange because the first game wasn't banned, but this one is. Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. You're not playing that one in Australia, folks. Not at least by normal means. Leisure Suit Larry, Magnum Con Laude. Strangely enough, the only Leisure Suit Larry game on this list. Mark Echoes Getting Up Contents Under Pressure. Which is a graffiti-based game, really? Do we really need to ban a game based on graffiti? Are you guys that against graffiti? Then, of course, we have Manhunt. But interestingly enough, not Manhunt 2. I don't see it on this list, at least. May I Q. Labyrinth of Death. Never even heard of that game, but it's banned in Australia. You're not playing it, folks. Better import it. NARC. Not too surprising. We're talking about the 2005 NARC, by the way. Which, uh, you can drug use as a cop, so I guess there's a definite theme they don't have any fondness of drug use in video games. Then we got Necrovision. Paranautical Activity. These next twos are not at all a surprise. Postal and Postal 2. Those are banned in all kinds of countries, I'm pretty sure. Phantasmagoria. Reservoir Dogs. Risen. Saints Row 4, but not the others, interestingly enough. Why not? State of Decay. Shellshock 2 Blood Trails. Silent Hill Homecoming. Singles, Flirt Up Your Life. Soldier of Fortune Payback. Know how violent that game is? Not a huge surprise. Interestingly enough, the first South Park, The Stick of Truth, was banned. Apparently, though, they did make a modification to eventually re release it. Syndicate. The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. Valkyrie Drive, Picuni? Never even heard of it. And Voyeur, again, never heard of it. But interestingly enough, you can play games like Duke Nukem 3D, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, as well as Left 4 Dead 2 and Mortal Kombat in Australia, among others. Those are all quite interesting, but hey, if you're an Australian, congratulations. You'll get to enjoy the fractured butthole in your own home. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.